Hello my fellow gamers, welcome back to Comfortable Gaming and today we're going to talk about Xbox Game Pass price increase news, we're going to talk about Street Fighter 6 announcement, a little bit about Elden Ring and just what's kind of going on with Game Pass and just wanted to get over will do we get this price increase. Now we recently got information on what's happening so let's just get it straight into the video. First and foremost we got a thing from Phil Spencer's response about the price increase and there's no future that we're going to get any price increase on Grain Pass anytime soon. Now, I don't think they're going to increase the price anytime soon, but I think what's going to happen very soon due to inflation and other things that's going on in the world, we will see a price increase in Xbox Game Pass probably sometime next year. I think once the Activision uh, acquisition goes through, I think they do will have a chance to increase the price in Xbox Game Pass, but meaning that that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to happen, but I think for the foreseeable future, that's what's going to happen. And I think also it's just because it's the way things are in the world, and I think don't be shocked if the price increases. I don't think it's going to be a huge major price increase. It might stay the way it is, but I don't know how long profitably wise will Game Pass be for Microsoft and Xbox. I mean, and I think after they inquire such big studios, they can ask, hey, this will be the price and people will pay just because all those games will be on that platform. And that's the thing people I think need to consider is that as we go into the future in gaming and what's happening and with these old acquisitions, now Sony's acquired uh, Bungie and things like that that are happening at the moment, we also need to consider that these are still businesses. They're not on your side as a gamer. Yes, this is the best deal in gaming in years and you should enjoy it as much as you can as, and as, as much as I am. And I think it's one of the best things that has happened to gaming in a while. And I think Game Pass will be a great thing in the future going forward, even if there is a price increase. But it's inevitably going to happen. It's inevitably going to happen. Now, how much of an increase? Maybe they'll have different tiers. I think what they're going to do, you're going to have Game Pass, Game Pass Ultimate, and then some sort of Game Pass Gold or something that covers bunch of studios or some new special features that might be coming with the thing that's that might be happening will that happen i'm not sure obviously that's just my theory of what's going on but it will increase at some point i don't see it anything in the future to put the price increase but again these are huge companies and they're trying to get much as money out of us as the consumers now we also need to fight for what we want in our games and what we want especially in these days as things has gone on price increase, unreleased games that are just rubbish and everything that's been going on in gaming in in the recent couple of years. It is a big thing that's going to happen. Game Pass is already a huge thing and it will change a lot of things and it will push Sony probably to create its own service. Where we head into, I think, with Game Pass, Game Pass will be like Netflix and I think PlayStation will be something like Amazon or something like that. And I think Nintendo down the line in the future, knowing Nintendo, they are stuck to their thing. We might have one of their own services in the future, but that I'm talking now maybe five to ten years. will have its own service that will be very similar to like Disney Plus, what Disney has done with Star Wars and Marvel and things like that. Because Nintendo is very known for its very spe specific content that's on Nintendo. Same as Disney Plus is very well now known for great shows as Mandalorian, the Star Wars stuff, and Marvel stuff, and Loki shows, and things like that. And I think that will be the, the main uh, point going forward into what's happening with uh, with Game Pass and the price increase, what Phil Spencer said recently, that we will not get any price increase in its future. But I won't be surprised after Activision deal, if it goes through, which it probably will, that then we will get a price increase and but we'll see how they do with that and how people and how much of a price increase will it be because they also have to know if it's too much of a price increase people are not going to play it now moving on to capcom news um there was a huge countdown for a whole week of what we're getting from capcom now i was really excited about this and what game we're getting because i'm a huge capcom fan i love resident evil i love street fighter i love devil may cry monster hunter i'm getting into it's one capcom game i'm wanting a dino crisis remake and i was thinking we're gonna get resident evil 4 remake or probably announcement or something like that i was hoping for a code veronica remake because it's been time since that's a game I feel like needs more remaking than Resident Evil 4 remake. But again, as Resident Evil 4 being my favorite Resident Evil in the franchise, I'm always excited to see that. 
But obviously with Street Fighter 6, he's a trailer and I'm very happy to see this. I love Street Fighter. I've always played it. It's one of my favorite fighting games alongside Mortal Kombat. And it's so nice to see a new Street Fighter, after this, especially after how Street Fighter V launched and took a lot of people away from that game. As much as Street Fighter V has become a great game now, it was a very shaky launch. And we're having a lot of drama now at the moment, people, what they are. I'm really excited that it will be in the RE engine. So that's going to be quite exciting. The art style will a little bit change for Street Fighter. It will look more realistic than cartoony. But as in the teaser trailer, we see it's still looking in that way as, a, as still a cartoonish or typical Street Fighter style, if you want to say. And I think the game is looking very good so far. I mean, it's a teaser trailer. I'm excited for it. But I want to see, obviously, more game plan. We have to wait. I know people are a lot of bit disappointed that the huge announcement got announced and it was just a teaser trailer for Street Fighter 6. Now, Street Fighter is a huge game for Capcom and it is a huge game as it is. It's, it's Street Fighter. It's been around for a very long time and does rightfully so deserve a countdown. But I think people are expecting a lot worse and a lot more and... I think a lot of people were looking for some Resident Evil content. Some people were downplaying, thinking it was just going to be a DLC. And I was pretty happy with this announcement. The logo looks shit. I do agree with everybody else what they're saying, that the logo doesn't look good at all. So, But we'll see how the art style and how things once we get more gameplay. But it's exciting to see a new Street Fighter. I really love the way uh, Ryu looks. Luke, I never really care for too much as a character. He's interesting. He's a new character. They're trying something. But I'm excited to see what other characters are going to look like, and especially the gameplay. And then moving on to the last thing I wanted to talk about, and that's this week is just Elden Ring is coming on Friday. Highly anticipated game from Software, Bandai Namco publishing it. It's it's exciting. Elden Ring is a big game this year. And it's it's got a potential already, in my opinion, to be maybe a game of the year, how it goes. Like an open world Dark Souls game, if they get it right. And this... This uh, this game is highly anticipated, guys, and it's I'm kind of worried, but not really. I just feel like after all the beta tests and the gameplay we saw, this game will be top notch. But again, how things have been going, we always are not uh, skeptical of what's going on. We were skeptical after Cyberpunk, and we had so much faith in CG projects right after The Witcher 3, and everyone was on board with Cyberpunk, and it was a huge disaster. I don't think this is going to happen, it's going to be, maybe there'll be a few bugs now and then, but I think the game will succeed expectations, hopefully, but you never know how things go, and that's why I'm also not pre-ordering generally anything anymore, unless I'm a die-hard fan of it, and even then you get disappointed, I suppose, but as things go on, I think it's a game that will really launch very well, and I think it will be a great game this year, and probably will be a contender, now we shall see on Friday, I could be completely wrong, but I think it's going to be one of those things that are just... It's one of those games that's... Pub, like, Dark Souls games has always been good. Sekiro was great. And a lot of things from this studio has been making some. And Elden Ring just looks amazing. So, yeah. Guys, if you like this video and some more news and what's going on in the gaming industry, please like and subscribe. Please comment below. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.